So I'm just uh, going to demonstrate um, how we can actually create an auto accompaniment pattern just by using uh, iPad and a few software that is available. Um, so the software that I'm going to be using, you know, to create the pattern is called the Step Poly Arp. Um, so you need to launch your AUM software initially, right? And then you have to add, you know, uh, a MIDI channel as well as like, you know, your audio channels. So you add your MIDI channel and um, add uh, the audio unit MIDI processor as your step poly ARP. And I'm going to create like, you know, two more ch uh, audio channels just for the demonstration. Uh, so I'm going to add the audio use the audio unit extension uh, as like you know one of them is the module pro and also i'm going to add a drum track using uh, the inter app audio which i'm going to be using the soft drummer for this illustration so let me tell you briefly what i'm trying to do like you know if i play the like you know I, i've chosen like a you know a four four beat uh, which I'll play, um, you know, through this uh, AUM. So right now, it's just playing the drums. There's no other accompaniment pattern that is actually playing with the with the um, with the drums. So what I'm trying to do is to make the step poly arp play some patterns, like you know, through the module pro which I'll demonstrate. Uh, like, you know, let me just demonstrate what I'm trying to do first. Uh, so let me just uh, put the MIDI in as the regular keyboard. And all I'm trying to do here is to create a C major chord, right? So which is, so you have a C, E, and a G, right? And then I'm gonna go back to E. So, so that's what it's gonna be playing, right? So to, to demonstrate that, like, let me just start it. So that's the concept. So basically, I need to create a pattern that actually will play these notes uh, through the module pro, right? So if you look at the first note, this is the root note that is a like a zero, right? And this is the like you know you 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 have the fourth interval, and this is the seventh interval, right? So you just basically have to create these three notes in uh, step poly arp. So you go in here open the step poly arp and uh, this comes with a lot of presets which uh, I'm, I'm not going to use it right now i just like you know basically created a simple pattern uh, for my use you know for the demonstration so basically uh, if you look at this one here uh, these are the four different notes i have actually created so the zero all the way to the left is the root note that's a c uh, the one on the fourth that is the e and the one on the seven is the G note, and then I'm, I'm playing the um, uh, the E note back. So C, E, G, E, that's what it's gonna be playing, right? So you can actually change this intervals to whichever note that you wanted to play by, you know, clicking, like, uh, you know, just click on it, and then you basically change, you know, whichever the interval that you want to, uh, you know, play, and then you can, uh, you know, choose it, you know, the the, uh, the notes that you know you really want to play right so i'm just using the c e g and the e and every time i like you know play it it like like uh, you know play a note uh, through my keyboard or my instrument uh, that actually will play so now for this to work uh, the step poly arp will be feeding the notes to the module pro so we need to change the midi input of the the module pro uh, you know, from the keyboard, you know, to the, the step poly arp. Um, so the MIDI out of the step poly arp is actually coming to the uh, uh, the module pro, right? And then since I don't have my device connected, I'm going to basically uh, do this configuration here. So the, 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 the MIDI out of the uh, step poly arp that is actually going to the module pro and uh, you know the midi in i'm going to be using the keyboard since i don't have my um, aerophone or the other wind instrument connected so when you have your device like you know your, your midi device connected you can actually change you know the midi in of the 
step poly arp to whatever the MIDI instrument that you have. Like you know, when you connect it, you know, you will actually see it and then you basically select it. So your your device like you know is gonna send MIDI signal to the, the poly arp. And uh, with that, that'll actually play the patterns uh, and that'll be you know sent to the the module pro. So here um, I'm gonna add some effects like you know to the uh, the module pro. Let me just uh, add some reverb, um, just to like you know make it softer. So right now, if I launch it here, and if I play the 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 C note, that's a C major um, pattern that is you know it's playing. So if I switch that to the next note, like the D. That's a D minor. So basically, every note that you play, uh, that you're feeding from your, you know, instrument, uh, the po the the step polyarp will actually transpose it to, to the like you know the corresponding pattern. So this is like you know C major. That's a C major. That will play the D minor, E minor, F major, G major. A minor like that so depending on the scale like you know that you're going to be playing it this will actually transpose so you, you can change the you know the different scales here um, and uh, you know if you I mean there are so many other tutorials which I'm, I'm not going to go through all of this right now but I'm, I'm just gonna you know stick with uh, you know just demonstrate in the C major so right now if I push the play button it plays the um, the drums and you know, you got to put this in the ARP mode or like, you know, if you put it in a sequencer mode and then, you know, you, you play it, that'll you look going to play the, the, the default. So this is, this is playing the C major now, right? But if you don't really want to, that to happen and if you, if you only want to play this button pattern while you play the instrument, you can actually put that into the ARP mode. And then basically, you're going to play it. Now it's only playing the, the, the drums, right? So let me add another um, audio track here so that you can hear me playing. I'm just going to add the Swam violin here. So change this to my keyboard. This is again like a if you have an instrument connected, like, you know, your MIDI is going to be connected to your instrument, not just the, the keyboard, since I don't have that, you know, connected, you know, just for the demonstration purpose, I'm using the keyboard as the input. Okay, hope uh, you are able to create your own patterns and uh, possibly create uh, accompaniments, you know, for your instrument. Uh, if you need any help, uh, uh, let me know. I'll be able to walk you through how to do this. Thank you.